Hi guys, I'm Emma and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here or if you just enjoy this video, please do subscribe. It would mean the world to me and especially with this, do share your comments, thoughts, anything down below. I absolutely want to hear them. Um, so today I want to talk about the Instagram page I recently created. It is called Reclaim Sexual Power Project. Uh, briefly before I get into details, it is a page on Instagram and a space that I created where anybody can share their experiences of sexual trauma, um, body related trauma, and then how they are kind of reclaiming or growing or embracing their sexuality, um, feeling beautiful in your own body, things like that. Um, and anybody can participate and it can be anonymous or not anonymous. Um, so that's kind of what the page is. And I wanted to talk about why I decided to create it. And basically I have always had a huge passion for creating awareness around things like sexual trauma, sexual assault, etc. As if you've seen my page before, you would know that I, I have a few videos talking about my own experience on here. And so that's something that's always been very uh, important to me. And then recently, the past couple years, as I've been growing into the woman that I'm becoming, I was thinking and wanting to kind of embrace my own sexuality more and kind of express what makes me feel beautiful and sexy without it being like weird or uncomfortable and then I started thinking you know something that is hardly ever talked about when it comes to kind of dealing with sexual trauma is learning how to feel sexy in your own body again or learning how to want to feel that way again um anything of that sort and i feel like that those two things we don't really think about them coexisting together someone who has you know been through sexual trauma or body trauma anything of that kind and then like embracing sexual power and both of these things um and so that was kind of how I came up with this page. I wanted to kind of combine both of those things and have it be a community where both of those things can kind of be talked about and can also be talked about together. And so I created this a little under three months ago now and it has already been so incredible. There's nothing like being in a community and I know it's just an Instagram but as we know for good and bad social media can really have a huge effect on your life and I wanted a space on social media and on Instagram a place that can sometimes make me feel kind of shitty about myself <laughs> I wanted a space where that wouldn't happen and where anything and everything was accepted and wanted and things that aren't normally talked about, like sexual experiences after any kind of sexual trauma, or learning to accept the body you're in when you've experienced gender dysphoria, abortion, pregnancy, any of these huge processes or these experiences that are going to affect your sexuality in some way. Um, and already this page has been so, amazing i i cannot express enough how already the community that i feel on there is so powerful and if you happen to be watching this and you are a part of it already or have even participated i can't tell you how much i'm thankful for you because every time i get another story or post someone else's story it almost heals like a little part of me, even if I can't necessarily relate a ton to it. Um, and that's kind of what I love. I mean, I can say in the under three months that I've had this page, I have never felt more 
comfortable and confident to embrace that side of me that I was terrified to before and that is so special <laughs> if you are a part of the page you kind of know who's behind it <laughs> it's me and I just want to say that I know going forward I'll probably make mistakes and I'll probably not say things the best way things like that will happen but I will do my absolute best to make it as accepting of a place as I possibly can for anybody um, and that includes male identifying people. I feel like there can sometimes be a misconception that this page is a women's page and it's for women's issues and things which first of all these are not women's issues but <laughs> I feel like there's this uh, misconception that guys uh, and males are not kind of wanted on the page or in the community and that is totally false. I want anyone and everyone to be a part of it and frankly I think we need more male identifying people willing to support openly a community like this and participate in it, you know? So just quickly wanted to clear the air about that in case anyone was thinking that this is just for women or women identifying people their experiences it's not but yeah i feel like i'm missing stuff there's so much so much going on in my brain but i suppose i'll just leave it at this for now and if you want to check out the page please do please do um Again, anyone is so welcome to participate and if you feel nervous but you want to share something, just talk to me. We'll figure out a way to make it work and make it as comfortable as it can be for you. And I guess that's all I want to say. So I really hope the page can keep growing and I suppose I'll see you guys in my next video. Please let me know if you do check it out. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much. Bye.